So it looks like it's far from over for the Chrisleys and attention on them. Apparently, their show, successful show, Chrisley's Knows Best, will be coming in a couple of weeks. And their daughter, Lindsay's opening up about their conviction. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where we get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. The last we reported on the Chrisley's Knows Best stars, Todd and Julie Chrisley, we reported to you that they had been convicted on all charges. Some of those charges included bank fraud, wire fraud, and tax evasion. And some of you are wondering, why is it that Julie may have to serve more time than Todd? We'll get into that in just a second. A lot of people were also surprised that their estranged daughter, Lindsay Chrisley, as you know, that was the daughter that Todd had with his previous wife, testified on their behalf. Well, she's opening up about their conviction and saying this. She says on her Instagram story, I know most of you are expecting to hear from me on, the, on my podcast this week as I took time to be with my family last week. The verdict is not what I had hoped for or prayed for, and I'm deeply saddened for myself, my son, and my family as a whole. Please pray for us during this difficult time and know that I will be, I will be back when the time is right. Thank you for your continued love and support. So as you know, the relationship between Todd and Lindsay has been strained. She used to be on Chrisley's Knows Best until 2017. And in a recent interview last year, Todd Chrisley told People's TV Reality Check that he believed his daughter had been the, quote, catalyst behind the tax evasion investigation of him and his wife, adding that there are certain things in life that I don't think you can get past. And unfortunately, I think that's where Lindsay and I are. You also may recall in our coverage of this story, his former partner testified in court against him in looting, not a looting, <laughs> Sometimes sometimes I'm a little too careful with my words. No, basically this former partner who he worked with for years alleged that they had an intimate relationship for about a year. At one point, someone found out about this relationship and threatened to expose them. So much so they had to give this person $38,000. Something about that's a little fishy to me because first of all, the, the price point is very specific, but... Also, the amounts of millions of dollars that the Chrisleys apparently stole and bamboozled from banks in the range of $60 million. This person that knew about their relationship was only asking for $38,000. That's interesting. So th this former partner basically is the one who went to the feds and let them know that because of his intimate relationship with Todd Chrisley, this is why he did the fraudulent things that he did when it came to pretending that these that they had the money that they had when they really didn't. So I know some of you are wondering, OK, so what now? Some people thought that Chrisley's Knows Best wasn't coming back. However, Chrisley's Knows Best is supposed to come back for season nine, June 23rd. So this all played out before the, their conviction. However, they knew that this was looming. It will, will be interesting to see if there's any sort of thought that's brought on this reality show, reality show, about this case. Probably not, because we already know, if you've been watching Chrisley's, Chrisley's Knows Best, that they stay away from that kind of stuff. They pre-produce a lot of moments that you're like, we know this is not real, but it's cute. Nanny Faye's cute. No word on whether or not Nanny Faye's going to jail. Probably not. Probably not. She's not even mentioned in that. You know, when we covered, Nanny Faye testified saying that she signed on financial documents, companies that she is the president of, and didn't read them. And all of you said... You are going to hell, Todd, for even getting your mother involved in this. He is. Look, he is. So with this conviction, the representatives for, for Todd Christie, his attorney, came out and said that they're very disappointed in the verdict. However, they will be appealing it. But that doesn't mean anything right now because now there are stipulations for them to be on release right now. 
So, you know, I like to pretend like I'm an attorney. However, a lot of you have been asking, why is Julie Chrisley, Todd Chrisley's wife, facing additional charges? Well, I'll just say this. I'll paraphrase this and then I'll, I'll cite CNN in a second. Well, we have to remember, everyone played a different part in this situation. Nanny Faye was the president. She signed off on certain things. Todd played a certain part. His accountant, who also was convicted in this trial, also serves a different part in the situation. That's why they're all facing different charges. So according to CNN, they're saying the elder Chrisleys and their accountant, Peter Tarantino, were also convicted of several tax crimes. And Lindsay's stepmom, which is Julie Chrisley, was found guilty of obstruction of justice and wire fraud. So that's part of the reason why Julie is facing additional charges. I would just love to be a fly on the wall in this relationship, especially with the accusations that their former business partner in this intimate relationship, and now I'm going to jail. Well, she also benefited from this life too, so I can't be too mad at her. So according to Cinema Blend, they report the court case itself played out with Todd and Julie Chrisley claiming Braddock, his former business partner, who had previously worked with them, was actually the fraudulent party. But the case featured many other notable moments, including Lindsay Chrisley getting the jury so riled up that several members reportedly had outbursts in court. At another point, Todd Chrisley was alleged to have had an affair with Braddock. Uh, in a, yet another major moment, it was reported in the courtroom that the US, USA Network stars had borrowed over $60 million in order to support their lifestyle. It took three days of de deliberations for the jury to reach the guilty verdict. So after being found guilty on the charges, it was learned that both Todd and Julie Chrisley could face up to 30 years in prison. Though we won't learn more about that until October 6th, the Christie's attorney said that they plan to appeal this. So according to Cinema Blend, they said and the, the Chrisleys will essentially be under house monitoring until they appear back in court in the fall. There are some re restrictions that come with this. They say, namely, if they are spending more than a thousand dollars, they must let their probation officers know. In addition, they are remanded to their homes, though there are some exceptions. Those include the fact that they may go to work, leave to meet with their attorneys, head to church, or may seek medical services at a doctor's office and hospital. Does that mean Botox too? In addition, Us Weekly reports the electronic monitoring will be in use. They also say, weirdly, amidst all of this, the new season of Chrissy's Knows Best is expected to air on USA Network. The episodes were already filmed prior to the events that played out in court over the last several weeks. You'll be able to catch season nine starting Thursday, June 23rd at 9 p.m. Eastern. They were already signed up for a season 10. With all of this playing out, no word on how that's going to happen. People are also expecting, because they're raising Chloe and they do have another minor living with them, that more than likely, if they do end up serving time, one will go, very much like the whole Real Housewives New Jersey situation with Teresa and Joe Judice, and then one will come, you know, switch out. I mean, that really depends on the judge. That really depends on the judge. They both could go to prison. And Annie Faye is going to be responsible for those kids. Or maybe their eldest. This is such an unfortunate situation. But at the same time, they were living this fancy life. Burning up all this money. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on this. Do you think that this is enough? Do you think that they will get actually 30 years? I don't know if they'll get 30 years. But they're definitely going to serve some time. They're definitely going to serve some time. And will you be watching this new season of Chris Lee's Knows Best? Has this situation turned people off to them completely? Who knows? Let's continue the conversation below. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.